Okay, so we got one thing here. Small. I got this guy on the bike. He is not animated, by the way. This is he's actually just ragdolled this way. And I just wanted to show you how you kind of set that up. So it's really not about the bike itself uh, or the driving, but you can see he, you know, interacts and smashes into things. Uh, and I can, you know, turn and drive, and he flips. His arms are being a little stiff. I mean, there's a lot of things you can do to tweak and set this up. It's kind of a, like a really basic bike, but as you see, he kind of flies around and does dumb shit. So I just wanted to show you how you can go about starting to set that up and, and how to tweak it to suit your whatever. Okay. So what we need is just we need a character of some type so there this character and I'm gonna get rid of the animator completely just flat out get rid of it and then I'm gonna hold down alt click open that all the way up I'm gonna grab the hips and I'm gonna add a configurable joint I am going to add another one to the spine and let's do shoulders, elbow, shoulders, elbow, head and legs. Well, let's grab them all. Add configurable joints to everything. There we go. So I'm going to start with the elbow and I'm just going to very quickly grab the shoulder and drag it into the connected body. Grab the shoulder here, connected body is going to be the spine, spine to hips, come down here and do the same thing. Uh, I'm going to go to the head and it's also connected to the spine, lower leg to the upper leg, upper leg to hips, lower leg to upper leg, and upper leg to hips. Okay, so, so far, so good. Now everything's going to need uh, colliders. Well, I guess they don't technically have to have these things, but it's, it will make things a lot easier. And if you want any kind of interaction, then they will need colliders. All right, so I'm not going to go crazy with these. I'm just going to very quickly rough these in. And you can spend all the time in the world you want on them. So I'm going to take these, all these legs and I'm just going to add capsule colliders like that. Flip them over on the X, take the radius down to like 0.1-ish. And I'm going to grab both of these lower legs and just offset those down. Like I said, I'm not going to really line these up too much. Just, to, just enough that you'll have an idea. Use a sphere collider for the head. It's a little big. And this guy needs capsules. Again, I'm going to flip that onto the X and bring the radius right down. And I'll take these and something like that. I'm not too worried about them colliding with each other. Because uh, we, if you want to run some sort of ragdoll system, you, you need to put that these things can't interact with each other. That's, that's kind of a key thing. And I'll show you what I mean here in a second. Alright, so now it's just the spine. I'll use a box for the spine. And take that size down. There we go. So I just got a whole whack of colliders. Nothing special. Now, if I hit play just like that, like it's going to look like complete garbage. All right? It just falls apart. That's no good. So, and before I really get into it, if you go in the project settings and go into your physics and up your iterations, uh, the higher you can you can go with this stuff. Uh, the more it costs performance wise, but the better your physics will run. So, <clears throat> I just put mine to 35. 
running it at 30 is really not that big of a deal. Uh, it's a lot better than the default, I think default 8 or something like that. It's silly. So, <clears throat> um, if we take the hips and I put the motion to lock, we all of a sudden have... See how our hips are kind of just staying there and everything else is just flying off like our head flying over there. So, <clears throat> okay, so that kind of somewhat works. If I grab all the configurable joints, all right, grab the head, grab all the legs, all that fun stuff, and we tell it to lock motion, but we're going to keep the angular at free, but we're gonna come down to the springs on the angular X drive, and uh, so I'll give it 800. And now all of a sudden we'll get something a little different. Right, she's kinda just standing there now. So we told the pieces that the pieces can't move on their own, they're allowed to rotate but they can't move, right? Rotations are fine, but movement's no, not okay, right? And now we have a much better looking thing. Now we can adjust springs and weights and all kinds of stuff uh, to get some neat effects here. So <clears throat> with that said, one of the things that we're going to have issues with is if we if we keep them like this, they'll, they're, they'll collide with each other and they'll cause all kinds of issues. They'll cause vibrations. They'll cause overlapping. So the easiest thing to do is go to a layer and build a layer. Like now I built one called Ragdoll. Okay. So for example, if I just go over here, I'm going to grab the root, say Ragdoll. Yes, change everything. So everything's on the one layer. On the layer, if I go back to the project settings, back into physics, and I look at Ragdoll, it uh, it can't collide with itself. I don't care about anything else. It can collide with everything else all at once, but it can't collide with itself. That's important. So now we have a thing here. Now this is kind of how you get going if you want to do active ragdolls as well. This is the same kind of setup, but we're not doing that right now. Uh, we just want them to do something. So ultimately at this point in time, because we got rid of the animator, we can actually put them on anything uh, or put them in anything, right? Preferably something convertible or something we can see at least. You know, even something like this. Like with the last one, I had them on a bike. Totally doable. I'm going to get rid of this mesh collider. We don't need that right now. Uh, I'm going to open this up. Oh, keep the steering wheel. Keep the wheels. Get rid of the shield. All right, so it, now we just have this, this golf cart. And it's sitting there. So I can now take this person. And I'm literally just going to put them in here. Put them right over so they would look like they're sitting. And then we're just, it's going to be almost like we're animating. We're going to take the shoulders. I'm just going to rotate them down. Now the beauty part with the configurable joint is it looks in the start and then it, uh, it takes the rotation and it tries to maintain that. Now by code, we can, we can actually change that and tell it to target different things. And you can actually move the character uh, based on uh, targets, I guess you could say, in the configurable joint. So it's kind of like animating, but instead of using what you'd normally use, we're, we're, you'd be using the configurable joints, which is, which is how active ragdolls are, are done. All right, I'm not going to get too crazy with that. Head down maybe just a little. Let's bring these lower legs up. And 
just position them like that all right so now we have this person i mean I, obviously i could adjust that for, for another hour to get that right but anyways you'll ha you'll have the idea they're sitting there now that's not quite good enough though right so we're gonna need a these four wheels don't need sphere colliders they need they need wheel colliders if we if we, if we actually wanted to do uh oh not the golf those guys um if we actually wanted to do real uh like cars i guess you could say actually, i'm gonna put an empty and do the wheel collider on the empty i don't know where my wheel collider is kind of weird I don't see it as normally at this point in time you would be seeing a wheel collider there and I do not see one that's very very weird all right well, well I'm not gonna worry about it then right now so anyways uh, the ball the, the card itself I mean you should put a, a collider on it though uh just to interact with objects i mean it doesn't need to be perfect or anything uh, as you're driving around but you know you, you should have something right if that means just kind of stick a few of these up no idea something something like that you know maybe one for the roof uh <coughs> and then this is the other thing obviously you would need is, is a rigid body on a car the other thing with rigid bodies give them lots of mass uh, or else they, you just won't have any control they'll fly all over the place all right now I have a wheel collider apparently that's the part I was missing I don't actually have a rigid body right <clears throat> And I'm just going to take these radius down like yeah, 0.25. And I'll stick one there. Front right, stick one over here. Once so again, I'm not going to really go take these will be all that accurate it's more or less just so you have an idea and this guy come over here all right now because this golf cart has a rigid body and we've put the mechanic i'm going to actually drag the mechanic right in here so they're actually a child now on the mechanic though we have the hips and they have this configurable joint i am going to actually now connect that that way I'm gonna maintain these locked though uh, if you want you, you can play around I mean if you, you if you unlock them they'll kind of bounce around a bit put a high spring they'll be bouncing in their seat and life is good I suppose but I'm just gonna keep it that way but they are now as you see this wiggly crazy thing that can move around right very 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 simple and if i look at my bike if i take my my movement that i made real quick and it, it's got nothing special i'm going to get rid of the drags actually i don't need those right now uh, i'm also not going to be doing any ground tests so I'll take get rid of that. And, and if you guys ever want like a, like a good vehicle controller, I can I can work on doing something like that too. But for now, um, so <clears throat> keep in mind like the mass. The mass is very important if you're ever doing something like this, right? Like it's trying to move forward. It ain't moving very well. 
it ain't moving very well at all. all right and that's we're looking for a get key and then we add force I'm adding 70,000 force and it's trying to move I forget how, how heavy I made the bike so I might need to make this quite heavy oh it's trying to go at a hundred thousand Try 130,000 force. Oh man. It is trying. Probably don't need about 5,000 weight though. I could probably bring that down. There we go. Woo! There it goes. All right. Like I said, but normally, you, you, like, you gotta have some weight though. Uh, I'm gonna bring it down. We'll say we'll say fat. Now let's go. Let's go a thousand. Thousand should do. I think that's what I had the bike at. If you leave it at like one, like oh man, your car will fly off the map. Yeah, see that's a lot better. And off it goes, flying to the abyss with a ragdoll driver. So one last thing we want to look at is the crashing. Now, there's an action on the ecosystem, and I'll show you the action is, oh, I guess we need new FSM. And the action itself is called set configurable joint drives. Now, with that said, I would normally run this in an array and for whatever reason that action I cannot get it to work in an array so I'll show you a different way I suppose it's kind of a longer drawn out way but I took a, a box and I stretched it out put it there and I gave it a tag so what are we gonna do we're gonna go in here and we're going to collision event on collision enter with the tag rock which is our wall and we hit it and we need to store the force so we hit it we come over here and we're going to check the force use the force yes I will okay thank you uh, if if it's below I don't know we'll say 15 we're just gonna skip we're not going to do anything. If it's equal to 15, just skip. Equal or lesser skip. But if it's greater than 15, if we have collided and we're going beyond that 15 threshold, we want to crash. And what do we need to do in a crash? We need to set parent. We're going to take our driver the parent's going to be none and just leave it like that and then the other thing we need to do is do all of these right I can probably just use this one I suppose and <clears throat> because of uh, this thing not wanting to be in an array and maybe it'll work for an array for you uh, give it give it a whirl maybe I just need to reboot my unity but for whatever reason, mine doesn't want to work in an array, so I can't do that. And I'm going to set the drive angler, uh, the x, x, ed, the x and the y and the z on the hips to zero. Might as well just finish this. We'll try to keep it organized. And I'm going to copy that. Put it down here. And this one's going to be the same thing, but I'm going to use spine 2. Drag that in. Copy both those states. And <clears throat> this one can now be left shoulder. This one can be left elbow. Copy all of those. Nope, not quite all of them. Almost all those states. Paste them in again link them 
So we ended on left elbow. Let's do right shoulder, right elbow, and the head. Oh wait, I messed that up. Hips, spine, left shoulder, left elbow. It's supposed to be right shoulder for both of those. So this is the right elbow for both of those. This one's the head. Come down here, and now we can do each leg. Said so normally I would just run an array for this, but for whatever reason I can't get the array to work for this, which is weird. But whatever. All right. So if we hit a wall, and we're going beyond certain force. We should see a crash. There we go. We have crashed. Can almost put a little bit of angular drive. You know, maybe not zero, but <clears throat> you get the idea. Oh, I think there's one more thing that we need to do because the hips I have locked in place. We also want to unlock those. Right? So we, we can actually add that right here. And we have, uh, is, it, is it under one of these? Nope, not the limits. Nope, not that. So I'm just going to drag this in. You can always just get component on this and then do this as well. Uh, but we want that to be free. Oh, sorry. No, we want the motion to be free. Because the angular motions are already free. Just going to paste that. And we want the Y motion to be free. And we want the Z motion to be free. There, now we should have a nice crash. We're actually come flying out of the our little golf cart or whatever you're driving on. There we go. We have we have crashed. Pretty good solid crash. Add some sound effects, some blood, and you got yourself something funny to watch. So adjustment wise, just to make sure we're very, very, very clear is like right now we're in play mode right and if I go to the arms right we'll say the this arm so these springs is how stiff we kind of want that there like you'll see is as I bring this stiffness down it should uh, it should loosen up a fair bit There we go. Ba right? So depending on how floppy you want them, right? You, you can you can do all kinds of stuff, right? Like if I bring these and, and you can adjust them all differently. Um, right, if you want the you know arms being fairly floppy and you know the legs not maybe not as floppy or the spine not as floppy, you know, that it's all doable. But I mean, they look at, like I just dropped everything from 800 to 50, and now they're they're a lot more floppier. All right, you get some pretty crazy wild stuff happening. But that's kind of how you, you 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 can adjust things. 
but they will try to maintain whatever pose you put them in. So, and if you wanted to really, you know, push things so that they can, they can move the active ragdoll is probably the best bet, but you, you can go to these configurable joints, um, and go to their, their drives. And you can actually do this, do this by setting property, but you could say target rotation, oh, that's position, target rotation, see, you can spin them and it'll actually try to hold that position. No, don't end the tutorial. Yes, I need to. No, don't do it. Yeah, take this stupid golf cart. Wow.